how do you judge those competing values of, yes, school choice is good, but so is federalism, and do we want the federal government meddling in state affairs? I mean, a lot of, uh, you know, that's a, that's a dilemma from a free market perspective because you've got different competing values. A lot of people are making that argument. Uh, there are ways, though, for the federal government to get involved with school choice that I don't think would raise the same concerns. For instance, if they passed a tax credit just to help parents who are paying for these educational expenses, like private school tuition, and you can then get a tax credit with the federal government, I think that would be very minimal involvement on behalf of the federal government. Right, because that that's federal tax money, not right. necessarily state money. Yeah. That would still uh, really help families. But I think everybody in the school choice movement is just going to have to look at this closely and discuss it among themselves and analyze it. I mean, we'll see what happens. Is there a research element? I mean, we often talk about how you know, free market people don't want the regulatory state doing so much regulating, but there are other functions that these agencies play, which sometimes are not seen in a hyper-regulatory environment, just expertise. You have people working at the Department of Education. Could they do research to figure out which programs are working, which ones aren't, which states are leaders, which ones aren't, and make recommendations, put out reports? I mean, is that something that a proactive Department of Education could do that is not regulating, that's not stepping on states' rights, just putting information out there so that people can can glean what they want. I mean, maybe. I would have to think about that. There are a lot of people in the movement who are already are providing very good research. So uh, I would have to look more closely to see if there's a need for that. But certainly there's a lot of options that, the, that we might see happen. And what does the research show? I mean, that's, that's obviously a big consideration. If you're skeptical of school choice, you want to say, well, I'm not opposed necessarily to my tax money supporting people, but I want to know that it's working and I want to know that they're getting a good deal and that they wouldn't have been better off at the public school. Do we know whether private school choice is helping people, especially those most disadvantaged among us? We do know. We do know. There have been about, I think, 100 studies of school choice programs. And Ed Choice, formerly the Friedman Foundation, really does a wonderful job putting those studies together. And I encourage you, the viewers, to look at their website. And these studies show overwhelmingly that school choice is helping the students that are participating in it, and also actually helping students who stay in the public schools. We see over and over again that once a school choice program is introduced in a state, the public schools actually get better, presumably because of the competitive effect. So school choice overall is a very good thing for this country.